Mushroom Wonderland. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Aaron Hilliard here, uh, Mushroom Wonderland. I'm right now. I'm in a Mushroom Wonderland, and it is pouring rain. If you can hear that, and so uh, the purpose of this video is to check out Matsutake, or the Northwest Matsutake. That is Tricholoma muriolinum, and we are going to go up into the hills here. The pouring rain in this coniferous forest. These mushrooms are mycorrhizal, so they grow in association with trees, with the conifer trees here. So fir trees and hemlock trees, they're gonna love that. And that's basically all that this forest is. So I'm gonna head up into the hills, see if we can find some matsutake, and uh, we'll have a close look at them and uh, see what kind of habitat they're in. And hopefully get you a better idea of how to ID a matsutake so you can try one of these super delectable kind of rare treats. Uh, so thanks for hitting subscribe and like, and if you leave a comment, that'll help the channel grow. Thanks again, come on, let's go. All right, so I'm getting to my spot here where I dip off the trail and just start hiking into the brush. Beautiful out here. Oh yeah, wearing all rain gear, man. I got rain gear pants, rain gear coat, so I'm nice and dry and toasty in here. My hat is undoubtedly gonna get a little bit wet, but uh, try to stay dry and have some good dry footwear uh, so your feet aren't wet and cold. That is miserable. Yeah, nasty day. You gotta be ready for this if you're a mushroom picker in the Northwest. But uh, this kind of forest is where Matsutake love to live. This is a second growth forest. It's pretty, pretty mature and uh, pretty diverse habitat here. Pretty uh, species uh, mature and rich here. So uh, wading off into these bushes is the way to do it. You gotta get out there and you gotta get out into the brush and look under the brush. Oh yeah, and sometimes you gotta get into it. We're gonna hike up this hill through these ferns. So I'm gonna get wet. There's brush in here as tall as I am. And uh, you know, if you're just walking on the trails and the little paths, don't expect to be finding a ton of mushrooms. Every other mushroom pickers have their eyes on the ground right there too. It takes a little bit of effort to find the goods, you know what I'm saying? So if I look right down here through this brush, you can see a large white mushroom popping out of the moss here. And whoa, what do we got here? This is in fact something a little more special than that. Look at that, boom. Big, beautiful Matsutake growing on the hillside. This thing is wide open, so it probably wouldn't sell at the market, but amazing for the dinner table. So fragrant. Look at that big, huge, fluffy ring around the stipe. It's got this tapered base with the uh, with this ashy kind of gray soil composite on the bottom. So man, I can really smell this thing. Beautiful Matsutake growing here. You can see this analyst, this big fluffy ring on it. And then it really tapers down towards the bottom of the stipe where it has this kind of gray ashy looking deposit on it. This is indicative of Matsutake and it's always like that. And uh, then you got these really tight white gills and, uh, and it's kind of fibrillose right here above the ring uh, where it connects to the cap. And then the top will often kind of have a mottled sort of tan color to it. Um, and man, when they're big like this, they're very, very fragrant. So when I find a big one like this, I'll often start looking around closer for smaller specimens. But a beautiful Tricholoma muriolinum, or the uh, Northwest Matsutake, grown here in the pouring rain of the Pacific Northwest. Man, that thing smells good. I don't know about Red Hots and gym socks and whatever, but uh, it's definitely got a unique smell. So when you know what a Matsutake smells like, you can pick that smell out from anywhere. I come down the hill just a little bit more, and here's what I spot. Look at this. So this is a, this is a button. And you can see it's got this kind of tan modeling on the top. You see that nice and clear? See that? Kind of tannish color, that's a giveaway to me. And uh, pull that bad boy up and look at that. So this one, 
the veil is completely closed on it. The partial veil is completely closed. So this would constitute a number one. But by tomorrow it's going to grow still. Even though I plucked it, it's going to continue to grow. So it's going to break. And it'll probably be more of a number two. But this is probably the most flavorful stage to find a Matsutake. And again, we got that tapered stipe. And we got that gray ashy deposit on the bottom of the stipe. You can see where that guy came out of. See that gray ashy spot down there in the soil? How weird is that, right? And uh, you can see this mycelium right here. This is all Matsutake mycelium. So how cool is that? This is the vegetative part of the Matsutake. Growing here, it's even growing up on the rocks and stuff. It's just looking for food, you know? And so it produced that piece of fruit uh, in order to spread its spores. And uh, sometimes if you look around in that same area, you'll see more buttons, but if you look at all this mycelium, and that's where it came out of, so beautiful. Uh, it's weird, it's like it finds this deposit of you know, dry, gray, ashy soil, and that's where it likes to fruit. Super weird. All right, so I found two of like perfect ages to show you the difference between a perfect young one and a older specimen. All right, so here's your perfect young Matsutake. You can see it starts with that ashy stipe. It's always got this kind of gold modeling color on it. And uh, and then here is the, uh, the partial veil and it hasn't broke yet. It's just like this webby um, little stringy stuff that connects the stem to the cap. And give this another day, it's gonna open up more and these are gonna tear away. And uh, And then this is where it tears away from, it's called the margin. And this is what's left of that, is this big roughly ring around it, so. And then on top, more of this kind of modeling, this sort of gold color, um, very, indic very indicative of a Matsutake. So that is a very nice young button. And then this is a full mature specimen. So that is a very young, that is a very young specimen, perfect, perfect number two button. And this one is a larger, more mature specimen, fully open. The cap always kind of has this little flare going on. It likes to kind of roll up on one side more than the other. Um, you can see it's got these white gills. And they are um, not connected to the stipe. It goes down to this fluffy ring. And still with this tapered base with this ashy gray soil on the bottom. So uh, another real indicator is going to be that scent. And uh, I can't show you what that is right now. But uh, beautiful, beautiful mushrooms. So uh, these ones are getting pretty waterlogged. We're going to get them home and set them out on the counter to dry for a few hours. So Beautiful tricholoma. I hope you learned something about Matsutake today watching this channel. I'm going to cut to some different footage of me finding a different patch of Matsutake. And these ones, uh, there's quite a few in this patch. And uh, just give you an idea of the type of habitat you're looking in. And uh, they're a little bit diverse, but they always like a conifer forest. So let's check out this other footage and uh, yeah, check it out. See how pretty that is? Completely enclosed. It's large. Um, so this is a... A number one, number one button. This is what they're looking for. A pretty one. Any buttons are kind of, we're kind of looking for buttons here. Look at those. Here are these bigger ones. This one. Probably not a lot of people are gonna want that one, but. Right here, look at that. This one is actually prime. They like them kind of halfway open. That guy, and that guy, so. Oh, hefty. Oh, hefty. Gorgeous, gorgeous. That guy.
those did you gorgeous If you find value in this video or other videos that are on my channel, please hit subscribe. And if you click the like button and leave a good comment, then that helps me, uh, helps the channel to grow and reach more viewers. And uh, so get out there, find your matsutake before it's too late. And these can often grow right into December. So it's a fun later season mushroom. And uh, this year seems to be a good year for them. So get out into those coniferous woods, get into the brush, start looking around for that little peak of white. And uh, I think you're going to get lucky this year. I think you're going to find some. So thanks for watching. All right. Peace.